Royce, can you talk about kind of through the off-season workouts this summer, what, what you saw from this team and, and kind of guys showing up to, to prepare for this year? Yeah, out there in the off-season, I saw a lot of guys that were committed. I mean, everybody was trying to step into a leadership role, and that's something fairly new that I've seen and something that can only benefit us going forward. Royce, what was your summer like? Did you get a chance to go back home? Did you do anything kind of fun, or was it just all football-based? Mostly football-based, staying around uh, Eugene, taking – classes here and there and uh, I didn't really get the chance to go back home that much but I was here for most of the part of my summer. Um, I know you're a, you're a humble guy you don't really pay attention to what the media says about you a whole lot but ESPN ranked you as the seventh best player in college football. Do you kind of feel like you're no longer this under the radar back? I mean that's cool and everything but uh, we still have a season to play. I mean, I've seen some of the guys on that list, and they're remarkable athletes as well. I mean, any of those, any of the people on the list are interchangeable. I mean, it's just everybody's got to fight, and everybody's got the opportunity to be anywhere uh, amongst the top. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor to be on there, but uh, I know that means being in that consideration, I have a lot of work to do still. So. Just what were some of the more challenging things to pick up to get you to the position that you're in now as opposed to when you first walked onto campus? I mean, now it's just a lot of confidence has been instilled in me, and now it's just time for me to pass it down to those younger guys uh, compared to when I first stepped on, on campus and first fall, fall camp practice. It was just it was a lot of chaos, I mean, but the veteran guys helped me out and helped me get through it, and that's what I'm here for. And now stepping into the veteran leadership role, time to pass down some knowledge to the younger guys. So obviously, you know, you've probably been asked a lot about, you know, last year at TCU, the Alamo Bowl. Has it something that you've actually reflected on, or have you just, as soon as it happened, you flushed it, you moved forward, and what's been the general vibe of the team with what happened last year and how it ended? I mean, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. Uh, definitely, you, you try to flush it, but I mean, it's going to appear every now and then. It was on ESPN's, like, top 25 games or something reflecting on the season, and I mean, it's rough, but uh, it's something you got to build on, and those veteran guys that played in that game uh, got to make it a, a point to the younger guys that it's never going to happen again. Talk a bit about uh, Kanai Benoit and what he brings to uh, the scheme of things. Yeah, Kanai is a similar body type to myself. Uh, he's very, very agile and runs very hard. I mean, I think as far as running hard and with a lot of aggression, Kanai is probably the one in the running back room that runs with those pretty well. So he's been here for a while, so he knows the system. And uh, he's also helping me as a veteran teach the younger guys and moving forward and as far as bettering himself as well.